What's up you guys? Downtown and it's packed because it is hot. Well, apparently the sun brings out all the people. It's kind of crazy, but cool vibe here, downtown Regina. I don't know about today's vlog, I have to do some work, but maybe we can do a kind of quick sights and sounds around downtown Regina. And then it'll probably morph into something completely different, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's do it. Because one, it's like the topic of conversation for everything ever. We're always talking about the weather, and then we love complaining about the weather, but when the weather is nice, it like brings us all together, reminds us why we're here. So all good things must come to an end. How about this like thing right here? Little helmet mark there. Anyway, it's beautiful though. It's kinda hot, feeling a little bit a little bit sweaty. The booster board has good natural air conditioning, but anyway, time to get back to work. You guys notice I'm sitting in a different spot today? You know, somebody was in my spot. Still gotta plug in here though. So. Works. If you didn't know I'm back at Atlantis. Great little spot downtown. How about that mark? Oh, jeez. Also, it's been a while since I've eaten on this vlog, isn't it? Mmm. 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 Well, that's not a good combo. It is getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here and loud in here because the blenders are running all the time. Because it's so hot and everybody wants ice drinks, hopefully you guys can hear me. Had a great meeting with, uh, I guess, a new client now. I just met for coffee and got some work out of it. Awesome. Excited about that. Seems like super cool. And now I need to boost over to the dealership to pick up my car. Hopefully it's done being cleaned. It's getting busier downtown. Lots of people out. It's okay, hopefully we'll survive. I don't know. Our whole backyard is getting completely torn up because we're taking out our deck and our fence and kind of hired my dad to do it. Keep it in the family. It's cheaper that way too. Also, if you want to know one of the hardest things about vlogging, it's not looking at the screen right there. Because you know how it seems kind of awkward right now when I'm trying to talk to you, but I'm staring at the screen to make sure I'm in focus and I can see what I'm doing? That's probably one of the hardest things about vlogging. This. I don't know why in business it seems like when it rains it pours and lately it's been about photography where honestly I just started doing photography a year ago as like 
just a hobby. I wanted to take better pictures of my family. But you know, I started to get a little bit more and more into it. And now I'm getting a lot of like requests to do it. It's like grad season. I shot a grad yesterday, or shot a you know grad graduating students yesterday, and that was interesting and kind of fun. But then now it's like weddings. I'm getting tons of people asking me to do their weddings. And honestly, I don't, I never planned to be a professional photographer and I have no desire to be a professional photographer. And I'd like to try doing a wedding and I think I would do a good job at it, but that's like a lot of pressure. You don't want to mess up somebody's wedding. So I've mostly been turning them down because there's professionals out there, that's an important day. And I don't know, I just don't really want to mess around with that. But it's interesting how things that were hobbies could quickly become actual viable sources of income. And honestly, this year I'm going to make a few thousand dollars off photography and I didn't plan on doing that at all. And it's nice because it pays for my gear, which I want to have anyway. But I don't know about weddings. That's scary. See me, see me, see me, don't see me, see me, see me. Oh. Didn't see me. I really, really don't like riding on sidewalks when well, they're not very smooth and they've got all these like little ups and downs and cracks and things, but when it's really busy, I don't really want to be on the road. But on the other hand, I'm thinking it's almost safer because there's so many vehicles turning, they just don't see you. It's like precarious, they're always almost hitting you because they're not really paying attention. They're just worried about getting out of their spots. I'm here. Pick up my car from getting cleaned. I don't see it, so I may have to wait. I see it, you guys. I see it, and it looks so clean. Look at this thing. It's like shiny, shiny. The wheels are shiny. Let's go inside here. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can't smell it on camera, but it just smells so clean. You should have seen it, well, you saw maybe a couple videos ago how dirty it was. Look at this. Look at this. You probably, it's probably hard to see in the video, but it's very clean. Oh, it looks so good, so good. Anyway, I think that's it for me. I will see you guys another day. Look at this, it's so clean. So clean. So my dad is crazy and he's been working in our backyard. Check this out. We used to have a deck back here and a fence. A little bit of fence over there. Other than that, it's all gone. And now we have to get all this stuff into that. That's not going to be fun.